All right, and just like that, it's winter around here. High temperature today, 30 degrees. A couple very cold storm systems here over the last 24 hours or so. Very chilly morning, obviously, behind the first initial cold front that went through yesterday. 14 degrees, our low temperature this morning. All in all, out of these two storm systems, about a half inch of precipitation, which uh, rounded out to about four to six inches of snow, depending where you were across the Flagstaff region. Looking good in the precipitation category here, almost at our yearly average here with the whole month of December yet to go. All right, we take a look at it on the close up satellite. The last final little shot of snow moving through Arizona, uh, very fast moving and uh, really not that much going on with this storm system other than a, just a quick blast of snow. Plenty of cold air going to be dropping in behind it. We switch it over to the radar right now. Interstate 40 corridor, the bulk of the precipitation now up to the south and the east of Flagstaff. This is where the bulk of the snow is coming down, where we could see two to three inches of snow here across the eastern Mogollon Rim into the White Mountains before it's all said and done over the next several hours. That was just like in Flagstaff when this came, came, thing came through late during during the afternoon, maybe we squeaked out an inch, possibly two, depending where you were in town with this storm system. I'm fairly certain that uh, we're done with this thing as I'm not seeing anything really form in the uh, upstream flow and very dry air starting to make its way in behind the storm system. All right, temperature outside right now, 28 degrees. It's pretty windy out there in the wake of the storm system. Still cloudy. Take a look at it across the nation. That's really the big first winter type uh, setup here for the entire nation. This is our storm system that went through us yesterday, already cooking and now into the southeast states, interacting with a major area of low pressure that's way up in the upper plains and the uh, Midwest states. And the, this is where the st uh, snowstorm is here for the northern plains and eventually moving into the Great Lakes. Severe weather on the southern end of this very vigorous cold front that went through Arizona last night. We had that just three, four hours of snow. Now it's just very, you know, got into warm Gulf moisture and that's interacting with cold air behind it. And we're seeing some severe thunderstorms break out on the southern end of this thing. Here's the secondary flow behind the main mother low pressure dropping in scattered mountain showers throughout the inner mountain west. And we're really at the lesser end of it. We have winter storm morning through the Wasatch, winter storm morning all the way through the Colorado Rockies. Here's this winter storm morning, the pink up in the northern plains. Purples in the northern plains in New Mexico and also uh, on the western slope in Nevada. Those are all winter weather advisories, not quite as uh, intense as would be some of these pink areas where the winter storm warnings are in effect. We had a winter weather advisory for us yesterday. All right, we might still see a few evening flurries here before this thing clears out overnight. Another night down into the low teens for us. Tomorrow, behind the storm system, cold air in the wake of it. Mostly sunny, high temperature. 33 degrees. We're just barely warmer here on uh, Wednesday and Thursday and then another cold front late week, but it looks to be dry and just another shot of cold air. All right, 45 for a high in Sedona tomorrow, 43 Prescott, 43 Payson and uh, Winslow. 41 degrees and here's a look at the extended forecast for us. We're up right around the 40 degree mark for our high temperature out there Wednesday and Thursday and uh, temperatures back down into the 30s with a dry cold front the way it looks right now moving in Friday and Saturday. No real snowstorms uh, to speak of behind this one in uh, the immediate forecast.